Good morning, everyone. How are you? Are you ready to do some handwriting? I hope so. For today's handwriting lesson, you're going to need some paper, you're going to need a pen, and on your paper, if you want to, you can draw one big line going through the middle to have a go at sitting your letters on. But that's only if you find these letters really easy. If not, just concentrate on forming the letters. So you get the things that you need and I'll share my screen. Right then, can you see? Lovely. Now, just a little reminder that when we are doing our handwriting sessions, we concentrate on making our handwriting as beautiful as possible. Beautiful handwriting, though, doesn't just come from the hand. Beautiful handwriting comes from your whole body. So when you're getting ready to do some beautiful handwriting, you need to make sure that you are sat on a comfy chair. You need to make sure that your feet are touching the floor. And that gives you good stability in your core of your body. And then that allows your arm to move freely. Okay, so if you're slouched and slumped down or on a really squishy chair, then you're going to find it a bit harder to move your arms to do your writing carefully. Also, it's really good to always do handwriting sat at a table because that just gives you a nice firm structure to write on. Okay, so hopefully you're all set up all nicely and you've got a pen ready to help you with your writing. Now, just a little reminder that all handwriting actually comes from big movements that get smaller and smaller. So when you're practicing your letters, if you're finding it tricky, it's a good idea to do a big movement first. So all handwriting starts with a big movement in your shoulder. So when we first practice our letters, we actually point up to the sky and make them as big as we possibly can to teach our shoulder how to do the letter. Then we try to make it smaller and teach our elbow how to do the letter. And then finally, we try to keep our shoulder and our elbow still and teach our wrist to do the letter. Okay, so we start off with big movements that we gradually get smaller. So if at any point your child is really struggling with any of these letters, just stop, move the paper out of the way, move the pen out of the way and revert back to those really big letters, you know, big chunky chalk on a wall, chunky chalk on a pavement, really, really big letters. Okay, and on the screen I've just put a little reminder of pencil grips and so, so you can gauge whereabouts your child is with their pencil grip and encourage them towards that tripod grip where you pinch the pen between your two pinching fingers and you curl the rest of them round to support. And it's a tripod grip because you've got three fingers doing the work to support that pencil, okay? And it's resting in the bed of your thumb pointing down. And that allows you to do most of your movements from your wrist. Right then, should we get started? Okay, so here we've got, hang on a minute, just a minute. <laughs> oh, I am recording, sorry. I just, for a minute there, I just really thought that I wasn't recording and I was just talking to myself and not recording it, but I'm pretty sure it is recording, so I'll carry on, just ignore me. <laughs> so if you want to, now would be a really good point to pause the video and recap with your child all of your curly caterpillar letters. We've done three weeks on these letters now, so you should be really, really good at some of them and you should have maybe one or two that you're still finding a bit tricky. So this might be a good time to just practice those one or two that you're finding tricky. Normally it's that letter A, I find. Normally it's that letter A that children have their own invented way of forming. So maybe take, pause the video and take a minute to practice any of the caterpillar letters that your child is still struggling with. Okay. And if you've done that and you're ready to move on to today's letters, let's have a look at them. 
So we are looking at a brand new set of letters today. These are called the ladder letters because they go straight down like a ladder. And so with each of these letters, you start at the top of the ladder and you go straight down. They are not wibbly wobbly. So let's just put our hands right up in the air and let's practice that straight down. And again, straight down. We've done it with our shoulder. Let's now do it with our elbow, ready? Straight down, straight down. And can you do it with just your wrist, keeping your elbow and your shoulder still? Straight down, straight down, straight down. Oh, lovely. It's a bit trickier, isn't it? When you keep the rest of your arms still. Right then, let's have a look at our ladder letters and how to form them. So, let's start with the L for ladder, <laughs> the letter L. All of these letters start at the top, just like most of our caterpillar letters did. Most letters start at the top. Okay, so with the letter L, which I think is one of the easiest, you just go straight down, it's very hard on the computer, and flick it round. Straight down and flick it round. Can you do it really big? Straight down, flick it round. Can you do it with in the middle, so with your, just your elbow, straight down and flick. Can you do it with your hand? Straight down and flick. And then can you have a go on your paper? You can pause the video if you want to spend more time on this letter. The next letter we're going to do today is the letter T. And it's almost exactly the same. Now, Mrs. Golding is a stickler for her handwriting. It's something that I'm known for around the school. Now, I really pick up little details with these letters. So if you look, I can see that the letter L is really tall. The letter T, don't ask me why, the letter T, when we form it, is not quite as tall. It's still a tall letter, but not quite as tall. Just throw that into the mix there to confuse everybody. That when we form our letter T, it's still a tall letter, just not as tall. I don't know why. Blame Mr. Campbell for telling us to do this handwriting scheme. I don't know why. Anyway, let's have a go then at doing the letter T. So the letter T, we start at the top and we go straight down and flick. And then we just cross for the top. Can you do it really big? Straight down, flick and cross the top. Can you do it in the middle? Straight down, flick and cross the top. And can you do it really small? Straight down, flick and cross the top. That's it. Your turn then to have a go at writing the letter T. Pause the video if you want to take some time to practice forming your letter T. And it lovely. I think those two are a nice easy start. So now I'm going to give you some letters that are easy to form but confusing to remember. Let's have a look. No, I have not put the same letter on the page twice. I absolutely haven't, have I? These are two different letters that look ridiculously similar. <laughs> So confusing, isn't it, guys? I wonder if you could tell your mums and dads the names of these letters or the sounds that they make. And don't worry about which way round you get them for now. Do you remember? One makes the I sound. Can you find it? Hmm. One makes the J sound. Can you find it? The letter I makes the I sound. And the letter J makes the J sound. But how do we tell the difference? Hmm. You can come up with any way that works for your child to find the difference. But this is how I explain it when I'm in the classroom. I figure out which way the letter I flicks. Because it, 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 it 
is jumping into the next letter. So if I was going to write a word, the letter I is flicking into the next letter. So it's leaning towards the next letter that we're writing. So the letter I or I is going the right way. The letter I is leaning the right way. I, it is leaning towards the next letter. However, the letter J is a bit of a silly sausage because the letter J is jumping. And in my classroom, I say it's jumping out the window. It's jumping away from the other letters. The letter J, its flick is jumping away from all of the other letters. It's like it doesn't want to play. It's jumping away or jumping out the window. And then with both of those letters, you put a dot on the top. Okay, so let's have a practice then with big movements. We're going to do the letter I or I and it is going to lean towards the next letters that we write. Ready? Ready? Lean it towards the next letters and dot at the top. But the J is going to jump out of the window. It's going to jump out of the way. It doesn't want to play down and jump out of the way and dot at the top. Okay, I hope that helps you with figuring out which letter is which. You can pause the video now to practice forming those two letters. And can you, whilst you're doing it, say the name of the letter or the sound of the letter as you're doing it to help you really lock in and remember which one is which. It is confusing, that's why I put them together, just to be super confusing. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Did you get it? Yeah? Can't wait to see your beautiful writing. Right then, the last two ladder letters. Let's have a look then. Oh, these ones aren't tall at all. Oh. These ones look a little bit like our caterpillar letters, but they're not. They're absolutely not the same. They are not curly whirly letters. They go straight down. So I won't have any of this, thank you. No floppy U's. No, 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 no. No rounded Y's. No, 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 no. These are ladder letters. So we need to make sure that they go straight down. Okay, so. This is the letter U, it makes the up sound. And when we form it, it goes straight down. Go under, straight up, straight back down and flick. Okay, do you want to have a go? It goes straight down, under, straight up, straight back down and flick. There's not very much that's very curly about this letter at all. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> you have a go at forming the letter U. You can take it from big movements to smaller movements and to finally writing it on the page. Pause the video now and have a go. Got it? Lovely. You must be getting tired by now. Whew, six letters in a row. Goodness. Well, let's have a go at the last one, which is really, really, really similar to the letter U. And it's the letter Y. We've learned this one to make two sounds, haven't we? We know that it makes the Y, Y, Y sound at the start of words, like in yellow and yes. But we also know, and we don't know why, Sometimes it can make the E sound at the end of a word. I don't know why, we just use the letter Y to make the E sound at the end of words. Let's have a go at forming the letter Y. Just like the letter U, we start at the top and we go straight down. Go under, straight up. Ready to go straight down? Straight down, 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 and curl it around. You just have to keep going, that's all. Just have to keep going down. Instead of flicking out, you just keep going down and curl it around. 
have a go then a big big way straight down under straight up straight down 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 and curl it round brilliant <laughs> you have a go then at doing that big movements in the middle movements small movements and going onto your paper so this week we have practiced all of our ladder letters well done for learning so many brand new letters and how to form them and don't forget how to tell the difference between the letter I and the letter J. Now for next week, I'm not going to post a new handwriting video. For next week, I'd just like you to practice these letters again, because I'm aware that six letters in one go is quite a big ask. So potentially, if you wanted to, you could have just done a few of these today and a few of these next week. Probably should have said that at the start of the video, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh well, I'm sure you'll forgive me because you're such writing superstars. Anyway, so enjoy your ladder letters this week. I can't wait to see your beautiful handwriting and remember to refer back to this video next week to practice those letters one more time. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that then. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that then. <laughs> And I hope that your handwriting is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see pictures on Class Dojo. And I also hope that this video did actually record and didn't start halfway through like it, like it might have. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.